don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's like New York finally called his bluff on it and not showing up to enough locals. And he's like, oh, bet? Bet? Yeah. Watch this. I'm just not going to get PR. He just, he's, he's chilling. He's chilling. Yeah. But we're not seeing that just quite yet. Instead, to we're be going fair, to see I just want to mention, the buzz is literally on the panel. He was just like, yeah. He's like, next time. I, I figured he was like, because I saw All the panel, right. it was like, I'm good. But either way, back to uh, Mouse Rat and Suave. Is it Suave or is it Suave? I'm Hispanic, so I pronounce Suave. <laughs> I'm going to pronounce it Suave. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. But anyway, this matchup, this between these two players, we've already seen Mouse Rat play quite a bit, doing a really good job so far tonight. But um, this is this as this matchup goes, I feel like it should just be Pikachu favored in a vacuum. But Falco is this character that exists in the real world. And in the real world, Pikachus are not perfect. And tiny mistakes are going to lead to huge damage, big combos, and possibly a really early death. Let's see if that can end up being true for a swab. Here. There's no way. Oh, what okay. okay. Great. Great decision for a because I had that actually, hey, not like that, that would be an absolute death for him, and he would have been in the most precarious situation ever, because Pikachu's or Mouse Rat is only at 60%. And Suave, he, oh. we, I, we've seen this before, where Suave was in a really, oh, you're gone. But Suave was in a really big deficit uh, against, I believe, Helper, and he pretty much brought it back uh, game two and game three, using the first game, pretty much as like an like analysis a situation, in order to gauge how his opponent works, how this certain matchup is, and of course, the dangers of Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu, but, I hate you. And the thing is, with Pikachu specifically, I mean, there are a lot of characters that can edge guard Falco. It's his biggest weakness. But Pikachu is maybe one of the single worst characters to try and get back to the stage against. Absolutely. And we had seen it earlier just now, uh, like, I think in the first stock, where Suave was, was in a very serious edge guard situation, was, was, was able to bring it back, thankfully. So hopefully if he keeps if he's able to keep that momentum going with the edge guards and kinda of use his advantage to kinda of mix up his recoveries, not to have Suave it uh, or Ooh. Mouse Rat take nope. advantage of it. What a Very beautiful good. recovery. Yeah. Like I'm saying, mix it up a little bit. You have to mix up in this, in this matchup. If you do the same thing over and over again, you will get edge guarded and and, and killed so quickly. Yeah, and I'm already liking the angles. I feel like that's one of the biggest ways of mixing up your recovery. But uh, as it stands, it's still a pretty good position for Mouse Rat. That forward smash sending all the way across the stage. And now he's at such high percent. Oh, wow. Great yeah, job. Right, yep. Getting that up smash as he should with Falco. Gain. Finally, finally taking that first off of Mouse Rat. But him to the 118%, and that will definitely oh. take him with the thunder. Yeah, and that Thunder is a very popular option for Pikachu's in disadvantage because that Thunder itself spawns extremely early. It can it definitely operate as a combo breaker, but the fact that the combo was completely dropped there meant that the actual explosion hitbox of that Thunder was what killed. This is looking pretty grim for Suave as now. Oh, ooh, oh, but tried. a Ah, yeah, this is the thing. Like, Falco gets edge guarded, and it's so hard for him to respond in kind. Like, Pikachu just it has so many different mix-ups, angles, d just like, look at that. That time he recovered with Skull Bash, because why not? Yeah, Pikachu can really just go wherever he wants. You kind of just have to, like, respect it. You can't really expect, expect where he's going to go with that angle uh, of, of, his, of, of his side B. So, you honestly, Suave has to be really careful here, because he's in a really, really dangerous situation as himself. What he really needs to do is just take advantage of the fact that Falco has amazing combo starters, and just kind of... He's not following through, which I know that like, we talked about not committing, and committing is really scary unless you know what's going to happen. But he kind of has to commit a little bit more. Oh my god, not getting a punish! Oh my that god. Was Pikachu forward smash. The thing is, he wanted to get the kill. He didn't want to get some weak, limp wristed, you know, way of actually taking that. Like, he needed a way to take that stock. Amazing the, 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 the lay on his own recovery from Mouse Rat. Oh, that's going to take it? No, not quite. But because if he gets his ledge, go, the ledge situation, he will be able to take the stock just like that. Wow. And the up air. That's something that Falcos know well because they're usually doing it to the opponent where they go for the up air and that's like cross up DI. And it's really hard to know which way you should be holding the control stick. I think that was probably suboptimal DI from the up air. Yeah, it looked like he went straight up. Yeah, he went it's, straight. Just but, but at that point, like. You're this it's close how to you blast react. Zone. Yeah, and also yeah. how do you know to react to the up air specifically? And in that matchup, I feel like what what, what broke Suave was is it Suave or Suave? It, Suave sounds cooler, so I'm just gonna say Suave. Suave. Yeah. Um, so uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> what broke Suave in that matchup 
was the fact that he just got edge guarded. Just consistently, yeah. even when he was make it back, able to make it back to the ledge, Pikachu was just there instantly to still cover it, still hit him back off stage. So, to the point where we're not even seeing the Falco in game two here, it's gonna be the swap to the Wario. I figured, okay, so my managers had three different character changes within a span of like these certain, these certain matches he's had already with other people. We see him play Kevin Falcon, we see him play Falco, and now we're going over to the Wario. A com I feel like a complete shift from uh, the energy that Falco and Falcon kind of share together. They're very fast, speedy, and explosive characters. But Wario is an explosive in a different way. You know, he has that wow <laughs> factor as well. And we I mean, we already know we have one over here, Munel, great Wario player, who yeah. we've seen use that WAF so amazingly. So let's see if we can see that happen with Suave's uh, counter pick of Wario against Pikachu. Yeah, and I think that the key here is it's a counter pick because Wario is explosive. Like Falcon and Falco, their explosivity against Pikachu doesn't really work because he's so tiny, he gets out of disadvantage so easily. But with Wario, once you get to the point where you have WAFed, where you just have this massive win condition, at 125%, if he's able to keep surviving, Pikachu just explode at 40 under the right conditions. And also the fact that we have Motorcycle active as well, so the big hitbox uh, for an object against Pikachu to kind of really try and hone in his recovery as much as he can, even though it is really difficult to take where Pikachu or around that row go. That, but Motorcycle is also a humongous factor for Wario that hopefully gives him a little bit more advantage right here, but maybe not, because now we have Mouserat kind of taking that first stop right off that platform extension. Yeah, i really liking the way that Master Rider has also adapted his play instantly. We're seeing a lot more T-Tolts in this because, as you said, he doesn't have the same level of speed. And Wario liking to go into the air to use his air speed, he's going to be a sitting duck for those well-placed Thunder Jolts. Yeah, really smart play of using the motorcycle right there just to slightly delay his falling so he's going to get hit by the hitbox of the Thunder so he gets that to stay very safely. But again, over here trying to use motorcycle to make to bait Master into going to that platform but not capitalizing off of that opportunity at all. Well it was a really it was like a juky way of getting to the platform. Yeah. He definitely was not expecting him to actually go there in the end. And at this point, good back air. Yeah, that's falling really, back air. Yeah, that's really important. You notice, died at about 115. If he's able to take consistently take those stocks, I think it's like right now we have walked fully online. Uh Managing to find one of those combo stars, which against Pikachu is actually quite difficult. Okay, still has the bike good job, not burning that particular resource. And with the jump, he actually makes it back to the stage safely. Let's see what he can do with a bit of stage positioning. Hopefully, he on this ledge, very defensive for Wario, for, oh, well, technically for Mouse right? Because now Wario has Rage, he has Wild going. And if you get a really, oh, okay, if you get a really good combo starter, Going for Wario, this mean this is gonna be pretty much an even game right again. And here we go, we might see it right here. Wop, no, 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 gain not getting that up like he really wanted. And it's like getting nared in return by Mouse Rat. Yeah, but he is surviving, doing a great job of abusing Wario's bigger weight, but again with the forward. That's the second forward air we've seen to take the stock. It feels like Mouse Rat is just very comfortable tacking on percentage after percentage until forward air at the ledge is gonna kill at 170. <laughs> And on, it, it, it's so easy to catch opponents with that forward air anyway. So it's just like right here, he's gonna keep doing it and, make his, and burning that that motorcycle like resource Ooh. might have been the best choice for Suave. Oh, oh I'm totally there big. it is. Reads it out! He's it's such a low percentage and it went all the way to that side of the stage. Had it gone the right side, it would have been at least a stock taken. Yeah, I, I think so, although I wonder which way he was DI. Yeah, that, that too. It felt like he went right to that blast zone but still didn't die. But the fact that that WAP didn't kill is... It's scary. It's... Uh, it's... This matchup is so much harder for Slavic right now. To the point where maybe you just try to play extra defensive. Try and run away as much as you can. So at the very least, you have a half loft available to you uh, if you do manage to take this stop. Yeah, it, like you were saying, this is just not fun for Slavic right now. Wario is just not adept enough at this matchup. He's slower, he's easier to read, and Pikachu can test so many things he can do around Wario that he can just take advantage of. Three forward airs. Three. All of those stocks were forward air. Track. <laughs> well, I mean, every single stock. It's forward air. Just forward air, forward air, forward air. It's, it's, I, it's because, like, honestly, while he's falling with that forward air, it's still active. He's going to hit you at some point in that big... 
not hitbox, of course, but that big space he occupies with that continuing forward air. Yeah, and like I think it also speaks to the like the the approach, yeah. the real you know the way that this matchup has already been engineered by Mouse Rat, which is that he was pretty confident in not getting hit by those waft starters. And as a result, he was able to have Wario at 160 and just tacking on percent, tacking on percent, not fishing for kills, knowing that that was going to be, you know, his downfall if he did that. And instead, it is the forward air at the side of the stage at like 150%. That's like what was required of him, and it worked out perfectly fine. Yeah, that's going to be Mousetrap moving on in the winner's bracket to the finals of his pool, or does he just move on into the top? 24. Okay, so 24. Yep. in top 24. Uh, and, ooh, the next match that we're going to have coming up is going to be a really VV cool Tab one. Soda. Yeah, VV Tab Soda. I assume that VV is.